As it's movies with Bruce. Hope everybody's enjoying this weather. This is incredibly mild for um, May, but I hear it's uh, what is it, blackberry winter, something like that. I'm not sure how many uh, come after that. Peach winter, apple winter. I, I don't know. I've lost track of it. But we're gonna head out on vacation in a couple of weeks. We're gonna go down to Dollywood, and I'm hoping that it'll start to. Uh, get a little bit warmer anyway but it sure is awful nice and cool in the nights we're outside here i'm actually in my backyard uh, but um the uh the movie review this week very rarely guys will i throw a bunch of boring stats and and numbers at you but i wanted you to understand some stuff the top movies at the box office of course avengers number two is detective pikachu number three the hustle number four uh, is The Intruder, which I think is an interesting movie. Number five, Long Shot. Number six, Palms. We talked about that. A retirement home is going to get a, uh, a cheerleading squad or team together. Number seven is Ugly Dolls. Number eight, believe it or not, the box office is Breakthrough. The Christian movie is still hanging on. Number nine is Tolkien. And I think the only place I saw that around here was at uh, Exit 7, Tinseltown. Uh, number 10 is Captain Marvel. So, you know... No surprise that Avengers is still number one, but let me run some numbers at you, and, and bear with me just a minute. You're going to find this interesting. The Avengers is three hours and one minute long. The budget for Avengers was $356 million, $356 million and it's taken in over $724 million. Now, how many stars were in Avengers? 20, 30? I mean, honestly, and I mean big name stars too. The other thing I want to throw at you is it was released in 4,700 theaters. That's a lot. Let's jump down to number four, The Intruder. It is only an hour and 42 minutes long, so it's, you know, 30% less in length. The budget on it, $8 million versus the 356, and it's made $21 million. So it's doubled, almost tripled what it was. One star. Well, one big star. Dennis Quaid. Ironically, it's released in almost half the theaters, 2,200 theaters. Now, let's jump down to a Christian movie, and let's look at Breakthrough. It's two hours. Its budget was $14 million, and it's made about $38 million. So it's doubled its earnings. Uh, two or three B stars, not, not trying to be mean to anybody, but they're not really big, huge name stars. So... And it was also only released in 1,900 theaters. So you can garner a couple of things from that. You say, well, you know what? Avengers is everywhere. Yeah, it is. It was released in about 5,000 theaters. It is everywhere. And, you know, Breakthrough didn't come to my area. Well, you need to go ask your movie theater, hey, we want some of these Christian movies to come in here. What do we need to do? And you're going to have to drum up some business for them because they're going to have to buy into some of these movies. So what do we see as the two or three B stars, one main star, Dennis Quaid, versus 20 or 30 literally multiple stars well that 724 million is going to start to get eat up pretty quick when you've got that many stars in there why is it not in my area well because it wasn't released at that theater why not ticket sales aren't there so guys that kind of shows you a little bit about how many they're released in how much the budget is where the numbers are and i think it's interesting that um in the intruder that Dennis Quaid can get it to number four being the solo star. And here we are with Avengers at 4,700 theaters, and they've got 20 or 30 stars in it. I don't know. I found those numbers interesting. If you run numbers, you found that interesting. If not, I lost you. Let me see if I can get you back. New for this weekend, A Dog's Journey, and guess who? Dennis Quaid. So maybe it'll be at number three or number four pretty soon. I kind of doubt it. I think that movie's been done a couple of times. Uh, dog's Journey. The Sun is also a star. Now, if you've heard about that, let me know. I haven't heard about it. And last but not least, new this week, John Wick Chapter 3. Keanu Reeves once again reprises the role, and this time he has a $14 million bounty on his head. Maybe they'll get rid of him this time. Who knows? All right. Another thing that I thought was interesting, and I want you to chime in on this as well, TV shows that have made it to a movie or made it to multiple movies in some cases mission impossible we were just talking about keanu reeves there maybe tom cruise will get like killed off in mission impossible and we won't have to watch him anymore 
Mission Impossible was a TV show from 1966 to 1973. The first Mission Impossible movie was 1996. All right, how about another one? Star Trek. Yeah, the TV show became a movie. The TV was in 1966 to 1969. Again, very few years. The first movie was in 1979, and a reboot was in 09. Now, will there be a Star Trek IV? Rumors have it that there probably will. How about the Beverly Hillbillies? Did you see that one? That and the movie, Jim Varnett, he did a great job. Anyway, Beverly Hillbillies was on TV 1962 to 1971, and the movie, 1993. One more, how about The Fugitive? Yeah, the movie Harrison Ford was in, great movie back in 1993, wasn't it? That was actually a TV show, 1963 to 1967. Now, the other thing that I noticed on this was a lot of these TV shows were in the 60s. So the TV show that had a good series and a good run only ran three or four years, but it was immensely popular, and they brought it back out in the late 1990s or early 2000s, and they've done multiple, multiple. Think about how many Star Trek movies we've had. Think about how many Mission Impossible movies we've had. We've had a ton of them. So I want you to tell me what TV show do you think would make a great movie. I think about that. I want you to reply down in the comments or hit me offline and tell me what TV show do you think? There was also Lost in Space, uh, Mr. Bean, Denzel Washington, The Equalizer. Do you know The Equalizer was a TV show? It was, 1985 to 1989, Robert McCall. So there has been some that really didn't do too good. Dark Shadows, Dragnet, Dukes of Hazard, Honeymooners, Land of the Lost, Miami Vice. There's been a bunch that they tried to bring back and they haven't. So you tell me what TV show is out right now or has been out that they've not made a movie on. So come over Movies with Bruce and let me know. I had two suggestions so far. Golden Girls, TV show Golden Girls. That's hilarious, isn't it? And also the TV show Andy Griffith. Some people have said they'd like to see a movie of Andy Griffith. So we just got off the air with Scotty Campbell. We're relaxing out here outside this morning. I hope things are going well for you. Don't forget, check me out on the radio, 92.9, every Thursday at 7.50 with magnanimous host, Scotty Campbell. Love you, buddy. And I love 92.9 for putting up with me. Thanks for having me on today, Scotty. Thank you all for looking at Movies with Bruce. Like and share down here. Keep me going. Keep me rolling. Tell your friends, hey, there's some neat movie reviews over here with some neat facts and figures sometimes. I promise you we'll get you a movie review in next time. I thought those were neat. Tell me what you think. You guys have a great day, and God bless.